The year is 2001, and on a messenger, Smarter Child was cussed out by millions of teenagers around the world, including myself. But why were we all so mean to this chatbot? And what's the real story behind its groundbreaking technology? Let's discover how Smarter Child laid the foundation for today's advanced AI systems like ChatGPT and Siri, all while being insulted by the public on a daily basis. This is the story of Smarter Child. Smarter Child was developed by ActiveBuddy in 2000. They specialized in creating chatbots and other interactive software products. Robert Hoffer and Timothy Kay were the creators who brought Peter Levitin on board as the CEO. Peter Levitin was a seasoned advertising executive who previously worked with companies like Haynes, Toyota, HP, and Johnson & Johnson. After discovering the early stages of digital marketing, he joined ActiveBuddy, where he and the team raised $30 million in startup funding. In June of 2001, Smarter Child was introduced on AIM platforms by ActiveBuddy as a demonstration of their chatbot AI technology. Their goal was to attract interest from businesses and agencies that might want to utilize this technology. By branding the AI as Smarter Child, they were able to demonstrate its capabilities free of charge to the general public. It soon became available on other IM services like MSN and Yahoo. Smarter Child was designed to be a conversational companion that users could interact with using natural language. It was meant to engage while providing a wide range of functionality. When all of your friends had their away messages up, Smarter Child was there to chat. Its ability to keep a natural flow going in a conversation was mind-bending. Whatever question I could come up with, it had an answer for me within milliseconds. Smarter Child had charm and personality that, to this day, I find to be rare in AI. It's no wonder it gained a significant following through word of mouth. 30 million people talked to this thing that was 10% of the global internet population. What did it do that caused people to use it and then spread it to their friends? What happened was Smarter Child caught fire and people simply told their friends about it and it was utterly frictionless. As far as functionality, it had the ability to provide information and perform tasks on demand, such as providing movie show times, stock, sports, and weather updates. The cool thing about ActiveBuddy is it puts all of those things in one place right at your fingertips whenever you need it. What we discovered was we could wrap information within a personality that had a sense of humor. Humor was essentially our hook. I often used Smarter Child as a way to entertain myself and my friends. We constantly challenged its capabilities by sending strange and unusual messages. It never got old, because Smarter Child always had the perfect response. Using the chatbot as a verbal punching bag was common among its mostly younger fanbase. Today, on sites like Reddit, the former buddies of Smarter Child often reminisce about the times they used to mock it. Beyond the endless insults, Smarter Child was one of the first widely used artificial intelligence systems and played a significant role in the early development of AI. It was a pioneer in the use of natural language processing, which allows computers to understand and respond to human language. There is no denying that Smarter Child helped to pave the way for the development of more advanced AI systems that we use today, like Siri, Alexa, and ChatGPT. In 2002, ActiveBuddy was granted a controversial patent that covered the technology used to create instant messaging bots. Many in the developer community were skeptical and argued that instant messenger bots were in existence long before ActiveBuddy filed for the patent. Right after the patent was granted, ActiveBuddy released BuddyScript SDK, a free developer kit which allowed programmers to design and launch their own interactive agents. In 2001, Radiohead's album Amnesiac featured the first chatbot in the music industry, called Googly Minotaur. Developed by ActiveBuddy, Googly Minotaur was available for AOL Instant Messenger users. The bot was based on the character on the album's cover and could be added to users' buddy lists. As years went on, ActiveBuddy would go on to collaborate on many big chatbot projects, including some for Austin Powers, Intel, and Keebler. 
In 2003, a New York Times article stated 250,000 people were talking to Smarter Child every single day. Active Buddy would go on to change its name and focus on making deals with larger corporations. However, in 2007, Microsoft purchased them and eventually shut down the automated service agent business, including the very popular Smarter Child. By the time Smarter Child logged off for the first and only time, it had over 30 million users on its buddy list, and over a trillion conversations were had in his lifetime between all of the different instant messengers. Without the hard work and dedication of the developers at ActiveBuddy, it's difficult to say where we would be today in terms of our interactions with artificial intelligence. As we look to the future, it's clear that the legacy of Smarter Child will continue to inspire. Whether it's through the continued evolution of ChatGPT, or the emergence of new and exciting AI technologies. The impact of Smarter Child will be felt for years to come. We hope that you've gained a new appreciation for the groundbreaking work of this pioneering chatbot. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.